Let's begin, though, this half hour with a 10A exclusive. It's a follow-up to a heartwarming story that we first told you about last month. You may remember the story of Cecil Williams. He's a blind man who fell onto the subway tracks in New York City and was saved by his guide dog. Well, after that happened, Cecil said he actually wouldn't be able to keep his dog as a pet any longer. The dog was getting a little too old for guide dog work. But thanks to the kindness of strangers, Orlando will stay with him. And Cecil has a new guide dog, too. Graduation day at Guiding Eyes for the Blind. A small ceremony outside New York City. And for Godiva, it's also day one on the job with her new owner, Cecil Williams. Hi, Cecil. But this yellow lab has some pretty big paws to fill. It was Williams' old guide dog, Orlando, that drew national attention for his work. Who's a good dog? The answer is Orlando. Last month, Williams fainted and fell off a subway platform in New York City ending up on the tracks. Orlando followed his owner down, barking for attention and huddling on top of Williams as an oncoming train screeched to a halt just above them. Amazingly, both were fine and Orlando a hero. Orlando was like my angel. He's always been that since I got him. We work together, I protect him, and he protects me. But at 11 years old, Orlando is too old to be a working guide dog, and Williams can no longer afford to keep him. Even now, the thought of giving up his loyal friend brings him to tears. Spirit of goodwill, it exists, you know. In the world, you see a lot of negative things, but um, I try to focus on the positive. But thanks to some anonymous donors, Williams can now keep both dogs as Orlando shifts from protector-in-chief to big brother. After a while, Orlando will learn he can put his feet up and it's going to be Godiva's turn to work. I feel that I was blessed with Orlando, right? And now I'm being blessed again. He saved me and now she's coming along to carry on where he left off.